Okay, in the previous tutorial we were looking at vertex parenting and I still have this uh, cone parented to the cube. So let's see if I rotate that on Y, you can see the cone is not rotating. Well, it itself, it's rotating around but not on its own axis. All right, so but in this case, sometimes what I don't notice if I click here, I parent it from the center of here to the vertex of this. But let's try and work it the other way around. So sometimes what I like to do is I'll go into ortho mode here for a second. Let's see. And I'm going to move my origin. So with this selected, I'm going to go into edit mode. And every, since everything is selected, I'm just going to take this cone and I'm going to move it down. So that origin, if you look close, I'll just get it right up there. That origin is right up basically at the tip of the cone. And then I'm going to leave edit mode here. Okay, so now I've changed the origin. And then in this case, so that's going to affect that, but now instead of parenting it to the vertex of this cube, we can parent elsewhere. Let's, I'm going to remove this here, so Alt-P, and I'm going to clear the parent like this. And then in this case, what I want to do, maybe I don't want to parent it to here, but maybe I want to parent this point to some general space in here, and maybe not specifically to a vertex. So what I can do is I'll click this, and then I'll shift click this one here. Yikes, yikes, yikes. I was holding the tab key down there. Shift click that one there. I'll go back into edit mode. And then instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to click click three vertices. I'm going to get one, hold, two, three. So with the three vertices selected, then I'm going to press control P. I'm going to make that the vertex parent. All right, and I'm going to leave edit mode. And now you'll notice if you look close where that where my line is parent. Let's keep, let's clear this parent so it doesn't so we can see the line easy enough maybe we'll see it in wireframe there it is so I always I click that that and that let's look at it from above in ortho mode I'll just rotate it around I'm using number four on the keypad so that way it feels oriented the same way and then you can see that that would be the center between this point this point and that point right there so you can connect the three vertices like that and that's really useful too for, well, I assure you for a lot of things, but you know, I don't have any particular design in mind right now, but RY, let's RY, let's rotate it here. In this case, notice it does hold the rotation because I'm parented to more than just a single vertex. But this is a great feature to be able to move your origin around to, so you can basically control where you place things relative to each other. And okay, well, that's it for this lesson. And I'll see you in the next lesson.